LeVar Arrington Uh-oh. is probably feeling a little bit more confident about a bold proclamation he made on the show earlier this week. You see, guys like Brady and I, we have thrown our support into the New York Jets and Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, right? we have. We want to yeah, see we have. one of the all-time greats G- go e- out in T-S. style. Hell yeah. Jets, 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 Jets. And we've done our part to try and defend Aaron Rodgers and defend Robert Sala and defend the New York Jets organization. And apparently the NFL is on the side of LeVar Arrington because (laughs) the schedule has come out and the New York Jets got absolutely hosed. You talk about a chop job from the National Football League. You open up on Monday night, you're at the Niners. Dang. Then you're on the road in week two at the Titans. That's not bad. Then you get a home game, but it's on a short week against the Patriots. You That's get the bad. Broncos after that at home. That's not bad. Yeah. And then you're going to London. You've also got two Sunday to Thursday turnarounds. And everyone's like, well, you're being featured in prime time, as they should be. But they're being featured in prime time, and they're also getting dealt a bag of crap by the NFL. And I'm sick of it. I'm tired of the disrespect. What's so bad being... about what you just said? That's all manageable. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Oh, I don't know. That's it's a tough schedule, man. What do you mean? What do you mean? Tough as it? in like turnaround time and stuff like that. I get yeah, that. Yeah, they but... play three games in ten days. By the way, which I don't even know if that's. Um... They play three games in 10 days once. They play three games in 11 days another separate time before they're by in week 12. Hmm. Start off back-to-back weeks on the road before they come back for a short week versus a divisional opponent. They go off to London, which, you know, is what it is. But think about that. That's a lot of travel. That's a a lot of games in a short amount of time in the first part of the season. Well, you know, that's what they do with your schedule when you stink. I mean. That or maybe it's it's twofold. I think it's the fact that they want to get in on Aaron Rodgers potentially before he gets hurt. No one took four plays last year, so they're like, <laughs> "Hey, we got to front load this baby." There's that element of it, and I also do wonder because Aaron Rodgers has not been afraid to voice his opinion publicly in a bunch of different ways. I do wonder if the NFL office has a little bit of a red ass oh. for that. I mean, I'll say this, LeVar, any team you went to, every single team trying to get you to toe the company line. Sure. If you stepped out of line, if you spoke out of line, I, sh- I should say, that was a problem. Sure. That was a problem for the team. The, you know, Whatever you said that didn't fall in line with whatever the team wanted you to say, that's a problem. Rodgers has gotten kind of above and beyond that. You know, he's, he's such a, a big figure for the Jets in the sense of the decisions they make, the decisions they don't make. He factors into all of that. So I, I do wonder if the NFL office feels like they need to take a more active approach and saying, all right, let's just go ahead and load up all these Monday night, Thursday night, Monday night football, Sunday night football, another Thursday night, Sunday night, all in 11 weeks to load it up and make it a little bit of a more difficult road if, uh, if he wants to not tow the company line, if you will. Hey. What do you think about that far? Uh, I mean, it's an interesting conspiracy theory. Yeah, can we get? I the think music? they're manageable. The music I just feel like I mean, they're manageable games. Go ahead, you guys. Go ahead. I mean, you, you don't, guys got the conspiracy theory on. Go you ahead. don't think it's a little odd that that team would open up with three games in ten days? Three games season. in ten days. You're going at the Niners. You're traveling all the way back. Like like that whole lineup, that whole schedule. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't I, – listen, I think what you guys are saying is logical. But I think there's only one team in there that you don't – if you had to do it, if that's what your schedule is going to be, I mean, I would want it against those teams outside of the Niners. The rest of them are manageable. Name one of those games that isn't manageable. I, I think that Pittsburgh's not easy, but you're not high on them this year. I'm not. Not yet. Houston on a short week is going to be tough. They're really good. That's not bad. That's, that's. I mean, I get it. I think, yeah, to your point, it's a valid point. Like, it's it's not the most difficult schedule outside of San Francisco. It's more about the travel. It's more about the exposure and everything yeah. else. If that's what you're going to have, you don't have what's, a choice over what you're going to have. So if that's what you're going to have, I'd rather have manageable teams. What's interesting is they have the 12th hardest schedule, according to last year's uh, win percentage uh, mm. of the opponents they're facing, which they had the 10th worst record this past year. So I guess that's 
somewhat close to being fair. It's messed up, man. I think it's disrespect. <laughs> God forbid the guy has some opinions that differ from somebody else, and the NFL has got to throw him, you know, just to <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> What you mean, man? God forbid the guy's got some opinions that are different from somebody else, and the NFL has got to throw him, you know, just just a bag of uh, bag of difficulty here to start off the year. It's that's what you're up. making it about, huh? Yeah, that's what I am. Okay. Yeah. All right. I mean, also, do you have an issue with the fact that they're being featured in primetime as many times as they are? No. Because I, 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 I've seen that there's been, you know, and I don't know if fatigue is the right word, but, you know, like the Jets have been a topic of conversation a lot since Rodgers has gotten there last year, all of that. To me, if you're the NFL and you realize he's he's on his way out in the next year or two, you know, he's got a limited amount of time left, don't you want to put him out there as many times as, as possible, even if they're not a good team? Or if they're projected to not be a good team, like why not throw them out there in prime time as many oh, times? Lorena, possible? you can turn the music off. Yeah. <laughs> and the roll. conspiracy theory's done. This is gone. Uh, just let it roll. Uh, just let it rock. Yeah, right. Uh, but I just look at it and I go, take advantage of it while you can. He's one of the all-time great players the league has ever seen. I know people may get tired of the fact that, you know, he does these weekly hits with, you know, with Pat McAfee and A.J. Hawk. You know, he's always in, in the news. He's doing interviews with either Tucker, Tucker Carlson. He's not still or, doing those weekly hits, though, right? It's only during the season. Yeah, but it's during the season. But there was a lot of people are like, why are we talking about the Jets? They're an awful football team. It's like, well, you know, they're one of the, like, main talking points. They're not on hard knocks this year, and we can get into that later on. But... I just look at it and I go, the NFL is trying to take advantage of this as as many times as they can. Clock and, is winding down on yeah. Xerxes and, and Aaron Rodgers. He's got a year or two left, you know, like the Nathaniel Hackett stuff. Like, I think it's going to be a fun storyline to watch. And for the record, still a slight favorite to make the playoffs at minus 120. Well, if they, I mean, look, again, LeVar has not been high on them. If they don't make the playoffs... I mean, would you say Lavar? They're going to blow the whole thing up. I mean, that's what, that what I think. Out of there, yeah. out of there. I mean, I, I would say this. You said even if they do make the playoffs, do you feel like that's not enough? I don't think making it is enough. I don't. Okay. I th I think that making the playoffs and making a run in the playoffs are two different things. I I think making it as a wild card and and going home after one game, I I don't know. For the amount of time that Salah has been the coach there, I don't know, and I don't know that not only the way they view it, they're viewing, you know, Robert Salah. I don't know how they're viewing Aaron Rodgers. It depend, I would maybe say depending on how they make it to the playoffs. If it's an impressive making of the the playoffs, like if they have a pretty impressive season and it's like one of those heartbreak losses, like I could see they're possibly be in them running it back. But I just think just regularly, just just a, a normal this is the season. They made the playoffs. They went home in the first round. I don't I don't see they, they haven't been to the playoffs. I don't see that being enough. They haven't been to the playoffs in fourteen years. If they go yeah. to the playoffs, I don't care if they lose by nine hundred in the first yeah, round. They come back. Yeah, every and not only they come back, everybody should get a statue. That's what they should get. <laughs> <laughs> come yeah. on, they're they're terrible. They've had one winning season since that time. Yeah, They've been awful. Think, I don't think I don't think it's good enough. All right, well, <laughs> I agree to disagree, but yeah. the, the one thing you pointed out that is true is it's not like the most difficult schedule of opponents. We, we could be wrong once these games get started playing, but seven standalone games, six in prime time. Meanwhile, Carolina has got none in prime time, which it, it is that opportunity to uh, acknowledge a couple things. As a former player, when you are, <laughs> when you see your schedule come out, you get a pretty good idea of what the NFL thinks about you based on how many primetime games you have. If you don't have many primetime games, or none at all in this case, they think you are going to stink. And then the last thing is the bye week. They're always looking for where the bye sits in to see, especially for some of the guys who like to go on a vacation during that week, uh, where it sits. You know, and in this case, week 12, a little late in the season, but uh, sits in a decent spot for some of these teams to make a run.